Boom. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Hello. Um, <laughs> before before we get too far into this, uh, since I when I do the start, I want to make sure to remind you guys. Um, if you guys want uh, to have us watch any episodes or anything like that, leave comments. Um. We we're we're we we'd, we'd like comments more than anything and suggestions. So, um, but this week we are doing my suggestion to Andy Rosario Vampire. That uh, was a show that happened. It was a thing. So, uh, yay or nay? Oh, uh, like I. Th I think there's better out there in this for what it is. For the genre and for stuff? The, for the genre, I think there's better out there than to be watching this one. I, I'm i not gonna deny that. Personally, I've, like, I like, I I remember, like, one of the first texts you sent me when you were watching this was just this is Monster Masumi. Yeah, it literally is. Like that but, but this show aired before Monster Masumi, and it shows. <laughs> yes, it, it's it's a little <laughs> older. You can you can tell, but like the animation style, I like the animation style. It was good, and like it was, I, I loved this series. For the love of God, if I see another freaking transformation sequence, I'm gonna lose my shit. Okay. They, they did that. I, every... I was I, losing I, it by the end. I'm all like, just stop it. They, I think they did that on purpose. I know they did, and I was not happy with their decision making. It was, I thought it was funny. Oh, just God. because I'm just like, are they at least going to speed it up? Because they, they teased that they did that like earlier, where they like, they super sped it up. And then, and then it was just, and then the freaking bat comes in. Well, this fight only took eighteen seconds. And then, and we're like, oh my god. <laughs> then you have the episode that like revolved around like Yukari, and like it was just her thought process as she was like unconscious or whatever. And you just hear in the background like the fight going on, and like actually interesting stuff happened, and all you just see is her and like her like what she's thinking and stuff and like you even hear like the like the, like mocha transforming and like even like the weird announcer was like explaining it too without even showing it yeah, i'm like I'm are just, you serious come on, guys. <laughs> like really <laughs> oh so, god it was it was fantastic <laughs> so, so um with this show Obviously, it's all about the characters because it's, it's to harem, <laughs> and like it has somewhat of a story, kind of like the premise of it. Um, guy goes to guy goes to weird school because reasons. I forgot what was it like. Um, his parents. Basically basically he i think it was like he failed he failed like an entrance exam or like his uh like basically he failed one of his uh his middle school or something like that and uh he didn't get accepted into a high school well the only high school that accepted him was this one that his drunken dad found a brochure that some guy dropped yeah and it was for it was this... A school designed for monsters. Fucking chill, man. And monsters, like, and it was behind a barrier and stuff, and it was a school solely for monsters. Like, and any human that were to, like, that got discovered would be killed immediately. And, uh, therein lies, like, question numero uno, like, what? <laughs> How did he get in? <laughs> Blame the bus driver. <laughs> God, that bus driver's fucking creepy. I know, it's fantastic. But, 
Dude. The, our main our main character Ano Skune is just he's not he's a very um very uninteresting fella. Yeah, like no, he's, he's obvious. He's that blank he, slate character. Yeah, like he doesn't really have anything going for him. He's kind of a loser. Like not a very like popular person and god damn useless <laughs> and then he on like his first day walking to the school from the bus stop he literally runs into or no he gets run into uh, gets run over by fair enough by um mocha who's on a bike and may like sucking blood because She's a vampire. Oh, I thought it was because she was a girl. Sorry. <laughs> no, that's just the sucking part. I mean, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> Racist? <laughs> Towards vampires? <laughs> I guess? I don't know. But, at least, at least, like, the way she does it is, like, she, uh, like, always sucks his blood. Oh At my... the end of every episode. Oh my god, I was so tired of that. It was cute. It was like this thing hits the cliches and doesn't stop. Like, I know, it's fantastic. The cliche addict. Just stop, please. It's so it's just it's cute. Like it's just a funny, cute series. Cause like the thing is is like they're like Mocha finds like Skune tells Mocha that he's a that he's a human, cause like he doesn't feel like he should be at the school because it's four monsters. And like she was telling him how much she doesn't like humans because like they always like basically looked at her differently and like just kind of treated her poorly, even though they didn't know that she was a vampire. Because kids are dicks. And pretty much. I mean, and, let's like, just be honest here. But it, it's basically Mocha and Skune, like, kind of obviously like each other. And, like, she just, she overlooks it because, like, he's, like, a human that's nice to her. And that and he, blood bag. Pretty much. <laughs> and uh, the thing with Mocha is, like, she's super sweet, super nice, like, and um, adorable. And she has this, like, rosary around her neck. And if it were removed, her vampire blood gets awakened within her. And she becomes... She goes from cute to hot. And she kicks ass. <laughs> Alright, in all fairness, it's a cross. It's not a rosary. They... They call it a rosary. Set... They call it a yeah. rosary, but it is not. Eh. Because... Well, they call it that because that's with the whole thing with that's the name of the series yes but it's it's a fail in translation eh. because it cause... I'm just going off of the translation so yeah. eat a dick yes it is a cross so so this cross gets removed she turns into white haired bitch badass dom douche bitch and... Okay, she's she's not that. She warms up, and she's fucking awesome. <laughs> Just because her main thing she says is like, in in the monster world, I, this is something I loved about this series is the fact that they made, like every monster is basically like they're they kind of have, they don't touch on it too much, but like they point out where it's like, oh, they basically have, like, cla level classes for, like, each monster. Like, like grade levels. Yeah. And the vampire is among the S class. Is... They're, like, the upper echelons of... S, A, B, monster. Seb. And yeah. They don't go any lower than that, I don't think, in the series. Yeah, but it's the fact that, like, they actually treat, like vampires, werewolves, and stuff like that as, like, S-class, where, like, the original monsters are, like, up there. I, I wouldn't say the original, the classic monsters. Sorry, the, yes, classic is a better word for Because, it. like, original, like, there's that one demon umbrella leg thing. 
and that I know makes an appearance in here, and that's not considered... It's considered a low-class something. I don't know what it is. Yeah, the more well-known classic monsters. Yeah. But, anyway, regardless, later on they meet, like, a, a, you're introduced to uh, Kurume, uh, Kurume um, who's a succubus. Ah, uh, Kurumu. She, uh, the, the, the way Kuruma. they pronounce her name, though, like, when they're actually saying it is, like, Kurume. Oh, yeah, no, the, the short, yeah. Um... But she, she's she's a character. She wants that dick. <laughs> Just saying, she, she's big. Big tits make jumps a lot. Jumps on him a lot. Well, then you have the exact polar opposite in Yukari. Okay, that no, just no. Like, there's one thing to make like the um. The to like appeal to the like the Lolita, like the lolly fetishes and stuff like that, but they straight out say in the series she is four years younger than them. Yeah. Which that mean like in the beginning of the yeah. series the the dude is fifteen so she's eleven slash twelve years old. Yeah, and she's fighting with yeah. That's fine. It's the show's fucked up. <laughs> yeah, that that's one of those things where I'm just like, no. But like that, I, I did say polar opposite. Like yeah. that was not an incorrect statement. You just kind of went off on it. And then you just have the flat out polar chick. And my was that a pun? My, my absolute favorite character in the entire series how, is Mizori. How did I fucking know? She's so good. I, I love her. Knew it. <laughs> she's she's a snow woman, and <laughs> oh my god, and <laughs> she's a stalker. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so good. It's so dumb. It's so good. Who is your favorite character? My favorite character gets nothing the entire Again. show. No. Ruby. Oh, I, I like Ruby. I forgot. Ruby has to be the most underplayed character and it is so funny because they're like oh we guess a lot of things have happened it's like that's my only line every episode you don't take this don't away, take away like, my line. it's like it's like ruby i'm sorry dude <laughs> Let, like let's start over and you could say it it's like okay just immediately does a 180 on like her depression she's just like she's like well a lot of things happened i'm just like oh my god <laughs> Cause I thought I thought Ruby was actually a well like a well maintained character, and I think that they could have done a lot more with her. Like actually explained what the hell happened, or you know, just anything at that point. But they're like, oh, no. nah, we have enough characters. We're just gonna we're just gonna throw her in a supporting role, even though she's in the like the intros. I know she's like I'm like please just just don't don't do my girl like that, man. What's wrong with you? Plus, she's the one. She's actually like she's not a student. She's old enough not to be a student. But she's she's young. She's too young to drink, but she's old enough not to be a student. Yes. And she's not. Well, I mean, like. So she's probably like eighteen, nineteen years old. Yeah, somewhere on there. So, but yeah. Otherwise, it's just. God, I loved me sorry. <laughs> I know, uh, just. I know you would have. Fi I know you figured it out. <laughs> I can figure this shit out like as soon as I see them. Like my friend was telling me about like the different characters, and she mentioned like basically a like a, a snow woman. I'm like, I'm like, okay. And like during the intro, like I looked at it. I'm just like, yeah, she's gonna be it. And yeah, she was. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I actually really like the intro song of season two. Um, like that upbeat, like. Oh, did this? Didn't this have like 
every once in a while had an episode with music? Uh, yeah, where it was, like, generally it was either, like, the main, the ones that I remember hearing was just, like, it was normally, like, I think Mocha sang once, and then it was, like, uh, Mizori sang twice. I'm just saying, that shit needed to stop. <laughs> they weren't bad. They were, I'm not saying that they were bad, but, like... It just, it didn't really fit it, in well with the it, with the, uh, the way the series was. It completely took away from it. I'll be honest, like... Yeah. So, uh, what was your opinions on, uh, Gein? Gein? The werewolf. The per the perverted, like, president of the newspaper club. I guess I just didn't understand it at that point, right? <laughs> like, just stop being a dumbass. <laughs> Like, but him doing that leads to him actually being like useful in a sense. You t no, no, he could just be useful from the start. Like, why would he? Why is he being a he, shithead? Because he's a pervert. He's a class A. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Or not class A, no, he's an S. Yeah, he's an S. Yeah, like he could just he's a werewolf. He could just he could literally just fuck them. Like <laughs> Or you have the teacher, Nekonome. Um, yeah, Nekonome was funny. I'm not gonna lie. She, she was like it was just one of those things where it's like, remember to hide your identities as monsters, uh sensei your tail. Yeah. Your, yeah <laughs> your tail showing? She just gets all frustrated and whatever. Or like, um, the one where First. they're at the beach and she just totally after just fish. It's the whole reason why she put together a trip was just so she could get fish. <laughs> and it was just really funny when she was talking to the, like the dude, the guy that was selling it, and he's just like, he's like, yeah, he's like, oh, yeah, I'm almost done cooking. So she's like, I generally like them raw. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, weirdo. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's just, she was just so funny. And she just gets owned so easily. I feel bad for her. Well, that's what she gets for being a shithead. What is she doing wrong? You mean, besides having the role of teacher and being completely useless? Well, it's the fact that the other teachers just, like, stop her from trying to be good. Oh my gosh, the freaking, uh, the freaking Naga. Oh my god, that episode is hilarious. The Naga. The, the teacher who's, uh... Oh, the, the, like, the really, like, provocative one? The math teacher? Yeah, the one who, like, takes over, uh... Su Brain Sukuni's brainwash yeah brainwashes yeah Ririko I think that's how you pronounce her name uh Ririko yeah Ririko oh, Kagome yeah God that was funny like it, there's there's quite a few like good up like really really good moments. See, I think like, what's really funny is I think in comparison to the main characters, I think some of the supporting characters were better made than the main characters were. They definitely were great for their parts. But you know I what I loved, mean? Like, I loved the episode with, like, um, Mizori's and uh, Kurume's moms show up. Oh, I know you haven't finished it. They come back. I know Missouri's came back for the ski resort. They yeah, come back. The thing, it, the thing is, is like I haven't quite finished the second season. I have like four episodes left. I'm en I enjoyed this so much that I'm not like binge watching it because I wanna like, I wanna like watch an episode a day so I can like super enjoy it. <laughs> like I just that's how much I really enjoy oh. this series. Yep. Or the, the, you got or the episode where they uh, had the uh, field trip to the human world as part of the school, 
and uh, Skune ends up going, like, stopping home. Oh, and, like, Mocha, yeah. Sh- Mocha shows Everyone up. Everyone else shows up. And then the other three snuck in and were, like, hiding upstairs in his room. And his mom almost, like, faints and, like, has a heart attack from... <laughs> oh, like, where did I go wrong? It's like, your, your, your son just brought home four girls. Like, why is... Like, what? <laughs> and they all, and like, he's trying to explain. It's like, no, 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 it's not what you think. But I, they're not helping. No, they're not. There is no help to be had. Mocha just always just gets tossed aside for, like, the rivalry between Mizori and Kurume. And, like, even though it's, like, they make it blatantly obvious that, like, Skune only really has feelings for Mocha. Yeah, well, I think that's... I mean, that's just their personalities clashing. Oh, yeah. But... It's just, it's, it's hilarious. It's so dumb. It's so good. So... The, I, I really liked the, um... Oh, uh, there's something I was going to say. It was, um... The the ending of the first season kind of was... That's the one thing that I was just like, ah, with, is because, um... It was the episode... It was, the, the like, the two-part where they were basically... Where they were doing battle with the disciplinary committee. Oh, yeah. they found out Skune was human. He actually admits to it to try saving Mocha, but it was a trick. And they sentenced him to death. Well, it was... Like, basically, a bunch of stuff happens. They get onto the roof. Skune almost dies. And, like, the oh, like actual vampire... Like, awakened, white-haired Mocha... Um, she's just like, well, I could pump my own blood into him to po- potentially save him. I'm like, oh my god. Please tell me he's gonna become a vampire then. That or it's the fact that he'll become one. Like, throughout the series, I'm like, she's drinking his blood a lot. Please tell me that's gonna have, like, some implication where he's gonna become one, like, a vampire or something. And, like, they even had a moment where, like, during the fight, like, she, like, she transferred the blood into him, and, like, she's just like, I did all I could, and, like, they're about to be attacked, and, like, he, like, he's the one who ends up saving himself and Mocha, and, like, you can see him with, like, the red eyes of the vampire. I'm just like, yes! And then nothing after that. Yeah. He had the one moment where he had, like, some sort of, like, quote-unquote power... And it, that was it. I wish, I wish these shows had some sort of like consistency to traditional, like, like a traditional vampire. Like, oh, look, I burn in the sunlight. Like, yeah. or like, you know I... what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I think it just need like, I think it needed some more gritty edge to it. I liked the way that they went about what her weakness is. With the whole water thing. Where water has, like, purifying properties. So she ha- in order to actually, like, bathe and stuff, she has to put in, like, basically a bunch of minerals to, like, toxify the water. Yeah, I could see that. Like, I actually, I thought that was an interesting way of going about, like instead of just being like oh it's holy water no it's like it's just water yeah I think there there are more opportunities to like I don't know yeah from what I saw the se- like the number of manga volumes it, they don't have a lot and he's dead <laughs> hmm <laughs> rip show show is dead yeah <laughs> 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 yeah, like I, I just I really, really, really loved this series. And I, it, 
I, I'd say it is not an essential watch. It's all right if you're super into harem. If you like, it, it, yes, if you like harem comedies, then this would be fantastic. I didn't even find the, it that funny, though. I thought I thought it was hilarious, but that's because I like the characters a lot. I, I guess. Just because I found myself like more often than not, I was just like fucking Kurume or like fucking Mizori. Yeah. Like, and it was, for me, every episode, it was just funny whenever Mocha transformed. Like, immediately, I'm just like, I'm just like, yep, she's, she's gonna shout her normal thing, know your place, and then just kick them once and beat them. See, I thought that was a problem with the show, because I think they could have done more with that. Like, I just wanted it to do something more, like one way or the other like if you're gonna have the huge transformation sequels like have it like combat and like have it actiony or like skip the transformation sequence do your whole one shot win and then like <coughs> Ooh, sorry but um but like do do some do, do something like commit to something because it kind of juggled in between them for a little bit there yeah there's a couple episodes where like she didn't just win in one hit. And one of them was when they were fighting Ruby. Mm-hmm. Like, she was actually... Ruby was powerful enough that Mocha couldn't beat her in just by, like, in, like, ten seconds. Yeah. Which I think... It either... It needed either to be more... More of that, or... Cut that and make it more streamlined for you know sake of getting through to more of the comedy like it wasn't like i feel it juggled in between being action and being comedy at points where it could have just like just, just take a path <laughs> yeah i thought it was the i thought they blended it kind of well yeah i just didn't see even the... even even the other mocha whenever she summoned like more often than not she's like you're summoning me for the dumbest reasons. <laughs> like, stop. Well, I think that was the thing. Is like, I, I just don't think it blended very well. Like, it mm. felt kind of choppy in terms of like what they wanted to do. Yeah, I also know that this kind of, like, thinking about it, this kind of genre isn't like something you're super into. Yeah, not really. You you like a lot you like more action like straight action or but, straight comedy yeah and i don't know it's just it just didn't mix well for me yeah it, with this particular series like i know there are series that actually blend it well and like the comedy is part of the action but it's like we're gonna have a comedy show and then we're gonna have an action part right yeah I like, guess. Like, I can see where you're coming from, but, like, I thought, like, they had pretty decent, like, levels of comedy during the action scenes. Oh, my God. I'm just thinking of the stupid ski resort episode. God. With the Yeti. It's so dumb. It's just like, oh, yeah, that's my dad. What? I'm like... I'm like, what the fuck? And then, um, and then, then her mom after they left was just like, "You should take that costume off." And I'm just like, "Okay, that makes more sense." Yeah, <laughs> well, that's totally. No, no, now we're good. Like, up until this point, we weren't good. Now we're okay. <laughs> I'm like, okay, he's he's about what I imagined. <laughs> All right, so are we good? Um. I I don't know, are we? I think so. I don't think there's anything else that we have to talk about, in all honesty. Yeah. Because I think we've covered all the points. Yeah. I'm trying to think if we missed anything. Uh, I can't think of anything. We, we pretty much summarized it. It's just school life. Yeah, school life and harem, which seems to be a popular category. Oh, well, yeah. Just f fine then, alright!
<laughs> we'll go with that. I, what? <laughs> just... I don't need to explain myself. Next week. No? Yes? It's your pick. I was wondering if you were if you were ready for the next pick. Or, well, I, or you, were you were talking. I was waiting. What? Are we going to continue to reminisce about the vampire, or are we going to be... I, I was waiting for you to be, tell me next week, because oh, we're oh, pretty oh. much done. Hold on, because last week we had the whole... Uh, the, the preamble to the reveal of Rosario plus oh, yeah. Vampire. Um, I will only give you the little blurb that I... Uh, it's a little text that I sent to my roommate who suggested this to me. Um, and, by the way, goodbye any ability to ever go in the future and make this monetized. Um... Holy, the... holy fucking cock sucking shit! That was an ending. <laughs> like that was my text to my roommate for this show. Um, two seasons. It's called Gossic. Gossic. G O S I C K. Gossic. Uh, why does this scare me? It is not what you think it is. That's always a good sign. I mean, like when I when I looked up the title and I kind of looked at what it was, like looked at the animation style and stuff like that, um, gave me the complete wrong impression. And it was, oh, I'll I'll, I'll I'll wait for us to actually review it. But so that will be my suggestion to you, Gothic. Uh huh. Alrighty, well, look forward to that. Yay! Until <laughs> next time. Bye. Yeah, 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 but do do that, but yeah, fine. Alright, bye. <laughs>